What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we got all their lost alien civilizations in our past. This is going to be a super dope, a super interesting video. So uh, let's jump into this one, man. When we think about alien civilizations, we tend to look into the vastness of space to faraway planets. But there is another incredibly vast dimension that we might be giving too little thought to. Time. Could it be that over the last hundreds of millions of years, other civilizations existed on Earth? Indigenous oh, on technological Earth. species that rose on Earth. I thought we, I thought we were gonna talk about like in space and like how they just wipe themselves out and shit. You know what I mean? But on Earth, okay, okay. And okay. died out. What do we know and though? That they or their artifacts are buried beneath our feet. Oh my what God! What does science have to say about this, and what are the implications for us? Yeah, but surely, like, we, we, we've we digged pretty deep, right? And, like, we got the ocean as well. So, surely there'll be things in the ocean. Surely we would have found something by, by now. Do you know what I mean? Like, surely, surely, surely. Life on Earth has existed for 4 billion years, mostly as single-celled organisms, until some 540 million years ago, the Cambrian explosion heralded the age of animals. A huge time window for our indigenous aliens. Where would we look for them and what could we hope to find? Sadly, we have only one civilization to look at, ourselves. Anatomically modern humans emerged around 300,000 years ago and probably lived in small groups of hunter-gatherers slowly spreading around the world. Progress was slow and our lifestyle didn't change much, although there may have been local bursts of complexity until about 10,000 years ago when the agricultural revolution changed our Yo, lifestyle. Why have I just got a really cool idea, bro? This would lo this would low-key be like a really sick fucking survival game. Like I'm looking at this right now. Imagine this is a game like you, know, you, you got to keep like your fucking your village alive. You got to go out and farm and like keep the crops growing and shit. Like I imagine just a little nerd with games or is that what I was thinking that would be cool as well, bro? Forever. That'd be sick. Massive population you got to evolve into like the human progress. race what it is today. Rather than just animals with culture and tools that would have been invisible from space, we changed the face of the planet, cleared forests and constructed cities and and temples for our gods at breathtaking speeds and scales. Until about 300 years ago, we became an industrial species, yep. and yet again, our numbers grew exponentially, as did our impact on the planet. We could say that our 300,000 year long history has three phases. We were hunter gatherers for 97%, farmers for 2.9%, and industrialists for 0.1% of our history. What the fuck? Wait, is this actually how, like, the timeline's looking? Oh my god, bro, what the... Bro, we, we've... We've, like, fucking progressed so much in so little time. Like, it's just gonna get shorter and shorter and shorter and more, 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 you know what I mean, with technology? Bro, like, fucking hell, it's actually mad. It's actually mad. And yet, we are Holy super shit. new on Earth. On geological timescales, even the sturdiest things lose their durability. The oldest large-scale surface is the Negev Desert, a meager 1.8 million years old. Wait, Everything huh? older has been crushed to dust or turned over Wait, and whoa, whoa, whoa. The oldest large-scale surface is the Negev Desert, a Who's meager 1.8 million years old. Everything older has been crushed to dust or turned over and it's either below the ground or covered by ice or ocean. Right. Our age, the Anthropocene, will be a layer only a few centimeters thick in a few million years. If there were aliens before us and they too went through these three phases, what, what would remain of them? Bro, what is this? Is this the fucking frog race, bro? What the fuck is this, mate? What can we learn about indigenous aliens by looking at ourselves? Hunter-gatherer aliens. We actually know that in the last few million years, there were hunter-gatherer aliens. Our ancestors, like Homo erectus, and cousins like the Neanderthals or Denisovans, and probably many more that we haven't found yet, or are lost to time forever. They left fragments of their bodies, of weapons and tools, and even art. Considering how long they existed and how little remains of them, although they lived not that far from our present, it's easy to think there have been others. 
Right, it makes sense. animals like us that could talk and use tools and fire that had culture and art. For the last two million years, most hominins lived as hunter-gatherers. So if these aliens never moved up higher... Yo, imagine. Imagine something being found like this. Like, someone found an art piece made so many million years ago. It was way before, you know, that we was around, right? And when I mean we, I mean the homo sapiens and all that shit, right? So, um... Yeah, imagine someone found like an RB from like an alien race on Earth. Bro, how much would that go for? Oh, bro, that'd be insane. You'd, oh Around my God. Hundreds of different species and I cultures get could have existed without leaving any traces. I bet you dig it. Artifacts lost to biological and then geological processes. At worst, they would leave absolutely nothing to be found after thousands of years. But what about fossils? We talked about how yeah, they would have to be before the process dinosaurs, of fossilization right? is in more detail in our dinosaur video. But in a nutshell, per 100,000 years of Earth's history, we only get a handful of good fossils. So we might easily just miss fossils of such people, but even if we had any, we wouldn't necessarily be able to identify them as hunter-gatherers. Agricultural and Empire Aliens Looking at humans again, agricultural societies left much more to be dug up and found because they used more sophisticated tools made from sturdier materials and had to feed millions, leaving many more artifacts. Right. Farming allowed them to specialize and develop tech from writing to navigation, architecture and government. Over thousands of years, city-states became kingdoms and empires, some existing for millennia before they fell. Many of the buildings or monuments they constructed... Oh, the Colosseum, bro. I really want to visit this one day, man. I need to go to Rome. Are still around. I've got to one day. will exist for a few thousand more years. Some only as outlines in the ground, but still recognizable to future archaeologists. The pyramids are piles of limestone so massive that they will probably be around for hundreds of thousands of years. And because of the greater numbers of humans that lived during our farm and empire period, we can expect way more fossils and artifacts to be detectable, maybe for a few million years before they vanish. So we can say with confidence that no such indigenous alien civilization existed in the last few million years, because otherwise we would have well, it found something like, that they left. Well, it could have been like a few million left. years. What is that in the universe? This still yeah. leaves a window of hundreds of millions of years, back to the emergence of complex life where we wouldn't be able to tell. Right. If there were alien pre-industrial societies and empires on the level of the ancient Romans or Chinese, they would have likely disappeared without a trace. Their tools, even advanced metals, would have rotted away. If they dug up canals, cleared forests and built cities, their traces would be very hard to distinguish from nature. Maybe there was once an empire of cephalopods occupying impressive cities in swamps <laughs> and lakes made from wood and stone. Bro, imagine is flooding land to build wet cities. Their poets reciting poems in a language of colors. Maybe they never industrialized. Maybe their society was too stable or not inventive enough, or they never got a chance. <laughs> a single event like an asteroid, an epidemic, or an ice age could just have deleted their Mad. civilization, ground up their temples, and it's and very their possible, bro. Away. Is Sadly, so possible. We don't have the tiniest amount of evidence for any such civilization. After a few million years at best, their achievements would have dissolved into nothing. Industrial indigenous aliens. What about industrial civilizations like humanity today? Imagine humans died out suddenly through a pandemic or cosmic rays or something like that. What would remain? Our impact on the planet is orders of magnitude greater than that of our ancestors. The fossil record will show a great extinction of wildlife and... Yeah, surely, like, they would know, right? So let's say we did get wiped out and, um, you know, an alien race after us um, is now on the planet. They would know. They would know by, like, even in space, satellite... But then again, that would probably decay, like, millions and millions of years. But, like, they, they would know somehow... Like, we've had a massive impact on this explosion earth. of fossils from human-associated animals like rats, cows, pigs, and chickens. Like the structures of our ancestors, skyscrapers and streets and hard drives will basically crumble into nothingness in a few millennia. 
but because there were so many humans everywhere, for a few million years after our sudden end, there would be clear hints of our existence. The byproducts of our industrial lifestyle might actually give us away for some hundreds of millions of years. Yeah. We use massive amounts of artificial fertilizer, which redirects Earth's flow of nitrogen that is being deposited in the soil. Mining metals and rare earth elements leaves long-term scars and depletes natural resources. We saturate our oceans with plastics that find their way to the ocean floor and may persist for hundreds of millions of years. Wow! There are radioactive elements and their decay, unnatural accumulations of elements wow. that don't exist outside labs How or bad weapons. is that? And of course, in our short industrial history, we have changed the proportion of CO2 in the air by burning massive amounts of fossil fuels, increasing the acidity of the oceans, and so on. We may already have left a mark in the geological record. So far, we have found no traces of an industrial alien civilization. No layers of weird chemicals or displaced elements. Well, no like, if there was an industrial civilization, right, you would see the marks with the materials on Earth, right? Surely, like how we're leaving marks, right? And like plastic in the bags, that you, they, they will have some sort of, you know, you know, even plastic, right? Surely, if they're indi industrial and they're very intelligent, so like, uh, chances are there. Active chances are there. To indicate that once great nations waged in there. nuclear war, we do see mass extinctions and massive shifts in the fossil records, but no evidence that they did not occur naturally. And ironically, we've hit upon an interesting problem here. If industrial societies stress the ecosystem enough to cause their own extinction, they won't be around that long. But if they become sustainable, their imprint on the geological record may be tiny. If past industrial civilizations were sustainable before they died out, we may have little to no chance of ever knowing about them. Yeah. In any case, over hundreds of millions of years, these signatures may become very subtle and get overlooked or interpreted as natural. Even if an industrialized alien society existed 200 million years ago and lasted for 100,000 years, 300 times longer than industrial humanity, it still might be easy to miss it in the geological record. In any case, all of this is speculation. In the end, we shouldn't use our imagination to trick ourselves into thinking we know anything about our blind spots. Just assuming a thing happened because we don't have evidence against it is a trap we should avoid. Yeah. So for now, if we look at hey, the Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen, listen. Let's forget about the past. And let's not try and find past aliens, right? We need to find some future aliens, man. We need we need to go to space. We need to conquer other galaxies, right? We need to, you know what I'm saying? We need to find some aliens out there. Some There's time, definitely aliens out there. Hundred percent of aliens as the vastness of space. Maybe we are alone in this universe and always were. Maybe no we'll way. find traces Ain't of others no eventually. Way. We don't know. There's no but way. There is one important takeaway. The continuation of our civilization is not guaranteed. And if we're not careful, we may disappear forever. Let's hope that in a few million years, there isn't another civilization studying our layer in the fossil record. Wow. It's frustrating to know there are so many things in our past we can't access. At least you can avoid that annoying feeling when it comes to other stuff you're interested in, like your favorite TV shows. Uh, and, and now this is just a little advert, but really, really good video. I love and enjoy watching these alien videos. If you guys have any other alien videos you want me to check out, any other space videos, leave them down in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.